So welcome. This is kids yoga. And that's why I'm wearing my sparkly pants. These were a present for Christmas and I guess they're very appropriate for this occasion. Uh, this class is for all the kids out there. You might be three years old, or you might be 123 years old. That's fine. You're welcome to join this class to have fun. Uh, if you're a young, young kids, then it's fine for your parents to also join. If they just want to watch, then let them watch. What's important is for you to enjoy the class and for you to be open to this experience. It's okay if you've never tried yoga before. It's okay if you have tried yoga before. This will be a class for everyone and it will be a fun class. I'm especially dedicating this class to my goddaughter, of course, Elia. Elia, I hope you're doing well. And then the kids of Heritage School, I miss you guys. I am trapped in Spain in my little house. So I hope you're all doing well in these conditions and I hope you're having fun with your family. We'll stay strong, we'll stay active and that's why we're doing this class. So you'll need to find a comfortable position, which means that you want to sit down on a comfortable floor, a carpet, your mat, if you have a mat. You want to sit up tall, reaching up through the back of your head so that the chest is proud. And we'll start just in this monkey position, just like monkeys with their legs crossed, with their chest proud. We'll bring our arms just to rest on our knees and we'll close our eyes. So with yoga, we want to find health and happiness. That's the goal of yoga, that's the goal of life. And in order to be happy, in order to be healthy, it's important to stop and watch what's happening. If we're always running from one thing to the next thing, and if we're always in a rush, if we're always in that panic mode and running and playing and everything, then we don't have time to stop and breathe. Breath is such a present. So we'll bring our hands to our belly and we'll breathe into our belly. Feel how the belly can fill up with air, just like a balloon. And we op we'll open our mouth to let that air go. Again, fill your belly with air just like a beautiful, powerful balloon. And open your mouth, let that air free. One more time. Have your hands on your belly, breathe into the belly. Feel the front of the belly, the sides of the belly, even the back of the belly with air. And then open your mouth, let that air go. Good, relax your hands again. And keep breathing into your belly. Breathe in. And breathe out. Try to lengthen the breath, to let that breath have long quality. So breathe in slowly and breathe out slowly. Keep breathing into the belly slowly and out of the belly slowly. Keep your whole body relaxed, but keep sitting up, up proud in this monkey position. Good. So we'll start our practice with the lion breath. The kids in heritage know what this is about. So we want to round our back and then we want to stick our tongue out and make a lion sound. So try it three times. Breathe in and breathe out. Stick the tongue out. Two more times. Chest back and breathe out. Push the chest forward. Tongue out. 
One last time, breathe in. And out through the top. Good. Come back to sitting tall, just like a proud monkey. Be a good monkey. Find stillness, no motion in the body. This is your challenge. This is what we're going for. Be still, completely motionless, no movement. Keep breathing into your belly and out of your belly. Okay, then now we'll come to our pony position. So you'll bring your hands under your shoulders and your knees under your hips. You want to find this strong body again. So press down into the knees, push down with the hands and find a strong core, a strong body. From here, we will work with our spine, our whole torso, our upper body. So with our spine, we want to push our bum up, our bottom up to the sky, and then push with the hands and round our body. So do it again. Bum up, chin up, and then push hands and knees down. Push, 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 round the back. Again. You want to find this arch with the body and then push it. Now you will connect your breath. So breathe in as you open up the chest. This is the cow position and then push with the hands, push with the knees. Find this angry cat position. Again, breathe in, find this cow position and breathe out. Cat position. Meow. And then breathe in. Woo position. And breathe out. Keep breathing slowly. Follow your breath with your movement and move, move with your breath. So breathe out. Angry cat. Really angry. Round your back. And then breathe in and find this cow position. Beautiful. Push with the hats and come back to this child's position. So this is where your uh, calm and restful child. So sit back all the way and bring your hands forward. Again, breathe into your belly and breathe out. Relax the muscles of your face. So relax your Eyebrows, relax your jaw, relax your ears, breathe into your belly and breathe out. Beautiful. Let's come back to our pony position and we'll then find our dog position. So we want to tuck our toes under so that we push down with the toes and bring the hips all the way up and back. This is the downward facing dog. This is your dog position. So you want to push down with the hat and push down with the heels of the feet and reach your hips up to the sky. Bottom up, keep pushing hands down. Really straighten the arms, straighten the legs. And breathe into your belly here. And out, okay and then walk your feet to your hands and allow your body to just hang down, just like a rat doll. So you're a, a doll that's just motionless there. Allow your body to be pulled down by gravity. Keep pressing the feet down. Keep the legs straight and keep your weight coming forward. Okay, from here, bend your knees. Push down with the feet and come up to standing. We will now do some sun salutations. We will say hello to the sun. So we will take it slow. Again, breathe and move. Push down with the feet. Keep your chest proud. This is mountain pose. You're a strong, straight mountain. Tall mountain. Press down with the feet. And then breathe in and bring your hands up all the way 
you'll say hello to the sky and then breathe out. Come forward, fold forward. Breathe in and you want to bring the feet back and bring your knees down and then bring your chest down and then breathe in, push forward. This is your snake position. Breathe out, push with the hands, go back to your dog position. And again, breathe in and bring your feet forward, just like a rack doll, relax there, bend the knees. Next, breathe in, come up. Say hello to the sun and breathe out, bring your arms down one more time. So breathe in and say hello, really reach up, breathe out and come down. Breathe in and bring the feet back. Bring the knees down, breathe out, bring the chest down, get ready for snake. Breathe in and slide forward, slither just like a snake. Breathe out, push with the hands, come to your dog position. Breathe in and walk forward and breathe out, just rest there, relax. Follow your breath, breathe in and come all the way up. Chest up, a low sun, and breathe out, hands down. We'll go one more time. So do it. Breathe in, pick up the chest, say hello. Breathe out, fold forward, all the way down. Breathe in, push with the hands, find this strong plank position, and breathe out. Bring your knees and your chest down. Breathe in, slide forward, press the feet down, pick up the chest and breathe out, push with the hands, go to your dog position. Breathe in and move forward again. And breathe out, just rest there. Bend the knees slightly, breathe in and come up. Open up, say hello to the sun. And breathe out, bring your arms down. Good job. Okay, tree position. So bring all your weight to your left foot and we'll bring the right knee up. So pick up the knee up, and then open up the leg to the sides. You want to place your foot to the inside of the leg. If you cannot bring it all the way up here, then it's fine for the leg to be lower down, or even for the fingers, for the toes of the feet to touch the ground. So you want to push down with the foot and pick the chest up. If you're comfortable, bring your hands to your chest and breathe in. Stay tall. Breathe out. Three more breaths. Breathe in and breathe out. Two more breaths. Stay still. Breathe in and breathe out. One more breath. Breathe in and breathe out. Good, good. Breathe in and bring your knee forward just like a pelican and breathe out, bring your foot down. Relax. Again, find a strong mountain position. Press down into the feet, reach up through the head. Bring all your weight to the other foot now and open up the left leg, bring the foot up. Again, you can stay low, higher up, or all the way up. Bring your hands to your chest if you're comfortable. And it's fine if you fall. If you fall, just come back up. Breathe in here. Breathe out. Keep your standing legs straight. Breathe in, chest proud. Breathe out. Again, if you fall, just come back up. Breathe in. And breathe out. Good. Back to your pelican, breathe in, the knee forward, foot flexed, breathe out, bring the foot down, good job. Bring your hands forward now and open up the feet. We will squat down, so bring your hips back just like you're going to sit back and then sit low, 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 low. If you need to, bring the heels up, otherwise keep the heels down, pick up the chest and breathe here. 
This is your yogic squat. This is how Indian boys and girls sit. So if you're comfortable, you bring your hands to your chest. If you're not comfortable, if this is hard, then hands down and just support yourself here. Breathe in, keep the chest proud. Breathe out. If you find the balance, bring your hands up. Breathe in and breathe out. So your heels can be up or down. Breathe in here and breathe out. Let's go for our balance position. This will be our bird position. So you know how the birds, they have those skinny legs with their toes sticking out. So that's what you want with your arms. You want to find those skinny legs with your arms. You will walk your uh, feet forward because these are the bird's feet and you will press down. And then from here, watch me first. You want to have this distance between the hands and the feet. Push down and then bend the elbows. Pick up your bottom and move forward and push with the hands. You want to look forward and breathe in and breathe out and come back. So try it. And then we will try something harder. We will try it. Maybe it doesn't work. We will give it a go. So we will again press the hands down, keep the elbows bent and move the weight forward. And then from here, we will just bring one foot up and then down. And then the other foot up and then down. And again, foot up and down. Keep your body round, foot up and down. Keep your core strong and come back. So you want to really use the strength of your core, of your body. This time, we will try to pick up both our feet. Maybe it doesn't work. Maybe it will work. Don't be scared, just try it. So press the hands down, bring the elbows in, and again, you want to really push in with the knees so that you're strong. So use your knees to push in, push with the knees into the body, and move forward, push the hands down, and then maybe you bring both feet up and down, and then maybe you can do it again and hold it for two breaths. So come up, breathe in, breathe out, keep pressing the knees in, breathe in, keep the body round, breathe out, come back, good job. Come back and sit down, bring the feet together and open up the knees just like a butterfly. So butterfly feet. You want the feet to be close, close to your body. Use your hands to open up the feet just like a book. If it doesn't happen, it's fine. Keep the book closed. And then open up the chest and breathe out through the mouth. Okay, you can stay up like a proud butterfly or you can be a sleeping butterfly. So if you want to be a sleeping butterfly, start moving the chest forward and relax the head. Breathe into your belly and breathe out through the mouth. Two more times, stay there, breathe in and breathe out. One more time, breathe in, stay there, stay there. I can see you, breathe out. Good job. Okay, from here, we breathe in and we bring our chest up. And then we use our hands to bring the knees in. Good. Now we'll find our frog position. So we want to come to our pony position. And then from the pony position, you want to open up the knees. So open up the knees wide. Keep your feet at the same opening as the knees. So the feet are here, right behind the knees. Not out, not in, just behind. And then from here, breathe, and you're a frog. So with the frog, if you want to go deeper, you push your bottom back, and maybe you come down. Maybe, you don't have to come down. Breathe in here, and breathe out. Keep pushing back, keep the belly strong, relax the head. Breathe in, and breathe out through the mouth. Breathe in and breathe out through the mouth. 
good job. Breathe in and move your weight forward. Come to your hands, push with the hands and carefully bring the feet in first and then push with the hands and bring the knees in. Bring the feet together and come back to your child's pose. Knees together, feet together and relax the body. Breathe into the belly and breathe out. Good job. Come to a kneeling position. So press with the hands and come to sit up. We will do one more breathing exercise. So this time we will imagine that we're blowing a candle and we will keep blowing that candle. So we will form an O with our mouth and we will do this. So join me when you're ready. Breathe out, breathe out, breathe up. Keep the chest proud. Keep the shoulders back. 10 more. Five, four, three, two, one. Breathe out. Let all the breath out. Again, sit still and notice how you're feeling. Watch how your body is right now. Watch your thoughts. Watch your feelings. What are you feeling? And keep observing, keep watching what's happening. We will come to sit down and bring our legs forward. And then we'll bring the left knee in, keep the right leg straight, and we'll hug our left knee and open up the left foot back to twist to the left. Breathe into the chest and breathe out, twist a bit more, look towards the back. Keep the front leg straight, breathe into the chest and breathe out. Twist a bit taller, find more height. Breathe in here and breathe out, come back to center. We will change sides. So bring the foot forward, bring the other foot in, hug the leg, breathe in, pick up your chest, breathe out, twist a bit more. Breathe in, find height, breathe out, twist the whole body and look at the back. Breathe in here, breathe out here. Good job, last breath, breathe in and breathe out. Slowly come forward, both legs straight and then fold forward over the legs. If you're comfortable, you can grab your big toes and pull to fold forward more. If that doesn't work for you, Bring your hands down and just rest your body over the legs. Breathe in and breathe out through the mouth. Breathe into your belly, pull your belly forward. Breathe out through the mouth. One more time, breathe into the belly. Breathe out through the mouth. Press with the hands and bring your chest up. Come back and come to lie down. So you want to lie all the way back. And relax your feet, relax your arms. You want to again breathe in from your feet all the way up to the crown of the head. Then open the mouth, relax the whole body. Again, make it your challenge to stay still. No movements. Relax the whole body. Allow your feet to relax down, your arms to relax down, your chest 
to relax. The breath is calm. The face is calm. Stay still with your eyes closed and enjoy relaxation. Enjoy this feeling of stillness, this feeling of peace in a world where we're always running around. Allow your body to benefit, to enjoy stillness, to enjoy a moment where you're lying down, not moving at all. Stay here for a whole minute. So for one minute, relax the body, relax the face. No movements, just enjoy the silence of the body. Good job. Stay still. Breathe into your belly. And breathe out through your mouth. Breathe deeply into your belly. And breathe out through your mouth. One more time. Breathe into your belly, fill your belly with air just like a balloon. Open the mouth and let all the air free. Now keep breathing, of course, and start moving your fingers. Wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. And follow the breath as you move your head from side to side. Breathe in and bring head to one side. Breathe out, bring head to the other side. Keep breathing, move your head, move your feet, move your hands, move your legs, move your arms. And then with your next breath, breathe in and bring your arms all the way up, overhead. Reach out way through the arms, stretch through the whole body. So breathe in and reach out way through the hands, reach out way through the feet, find length, breathe out through the mouth and reach out. Ah. One more time. Breathe in, reach out, breathe out through the mouth, reach out even further. Good. And then. Carefully bring one knee to the chest, bring the other knee to the chest. Hug your whole body, hug yourself, show love to yourself. Rock from side to side, massage your back and come to lie down on your side. Just like a baby in the mother's womb. So press down with the hands to carefully stay with that peaceful, sense and come to sit just like a monkey again. Chest proud, your shoulders back, relax your face and bring your hands to your belly again. Breathe into your belly. Breathe out through the mouth. Good. Relax your arms on the feet, on the knees. Breathe in. Breathe out through the mouth. And we'll be still just for a few seconds. So keep your eyes closed. Be a proud monkey. A quiet, still monkey and watch what's happening. Watch any thoughts, any feelings, 
that come up. How are you feeling? What are you thinking? Yoga teaches us to watch what's happening in our body, in our head, so that we know what makes us happy, what makes us healthy. So thoughts that are positive thoughts are thoughts that are happy thoughts. They make us feel good. They make us laugh and smile. Thoughts that make us sad, thoughts that make us cry, they're not necessarily bad thoughts. But we don't need them that much. We want to be happy. So when you find yourself thinking things that make you sad, that's okay. But what can you think that will make you happy? So that's the lesson from today. Keep focusing on things that make you happy. Keep doing things, activities, and keep being with people that make you happy, that make you healthy. So say I love you to your friends and family and be there for them. We will finish with just one more stretch. So breathe in and bring your hands up. Really reach up, straight up, all the way up. Breathe out, bring your hands back to the ground just like wings and breathe in, fly all the way up. And breathe out, bring your hands to your heart. Thank you for your time. Thank you for practicing. Thank you for taking care of yourself. That's how you can take care of other people. By staying healthy and happy, you show them how to be healthy and how to be happy. And you help them. So keep helping and keep being kind. Thank you for your time. The light, the love in me loves the light and the love in you. Namaste. Thank you. Bye. Bye.